It's time. Well, the fallout just continues from the brawl between the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks and the Beaver Lodge Blades that happened in their first matchup of the season. And more suspensions are on their way. The governors of the Northwest Junior Hockey League at their regular scheduled meeting held in Grand Prairie on Saturday, <clears throat> October the 5th, reviewed the protest from Dawson Creek Junior Canucks and from the Beaver Lodge Blades resulting from the game that was held in Dawson Creek on September the 28th. In addition to ruling on the protest, three of the suspensions were increased and two new suspensions were added. Um, all of the other remaining suspensions remain the same. The change in suspensions will affect Beaver Lodge assistant coach Wade Wallen and Dawson Creek assistant Clint Frank, who each earned one-year bans for physical confrontations with players. Beaver Lodge skater Corey Wood's suspension jumps from two games to four for returning to the ice after being kicked out earlier. And Beaver Lodge coach Mike Walker and Dawson Creek coach George Cochran each get three games for not being able to control their benches. But Krause says the teams can appeal. They do have the right to go to Alberta Hockey. Those people then garner all of the information that they can from everybody that's involved and rule on an appeal. I know for a fact that the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks are appealing. I really hope that it doesn't happen again, not only in these two communities or, or with these two teams, but with any of the teams that are in our league. It's a hard job to keep um, hockey work at a level that it should be at and, um, and hopefully by sending a strong message, the league will make sure that that happens in everybody's community. The Junior Canucks are back in action on Thursday night when they meet Fort St. John.